Hello everyone, it is Mark here for the A330 MCDU tutorial. Uh, it was recently released Thursday for x 12. Um, so I'm going to talk you guys through that. I might end up doing an updated A330 startup tutorial from Cold and Dark, but that's in the air. That'll be next weekend if I do it. I know, I believe a few things have changed, but uh, above top right you'll see the startup tutorial that I currently have. Look at this beautiful aircraft though. I called ground services. I love this thing. Um, anyway, let's get in the cockpit. It's just going to be the MCDU. I have everything else started already. So what I always tend to do is I go to initialization. We're at Philadelphia today. So let's say, oh, we're going in Philadelphia to Los Angeles. You'll do Kilo Papa Hotel Lima slash Kilo Sierra Alpha November. Sorry, no, LAX. It would be Lima Alpha X-Ray. Um, so that's just where you're go well, where you are to where you're going. Um, sadly, this doesn't have working ADARs yet. ADARs are all the way up here. Those don't work um, in this. It's all automatic already. So this this is for your flight plan. Um, so then, okay, we're going to uh, we're Delta, so we go Delta Alpha Lima. Then I always use 369. You use whatever call sign you're using. So if you're flying a VAT sim, let's say you're Delta 1005, you put Delta and then 1005. Uh, let, we're going to cruise at 36,000 today. So Foxtrot Lima 360. That automatically does that. Then you want to go to Flight Plan here. Departure. Let's say you're going to depart via. One. Okay, well, let's say you're departing via 27 left via the Philadelphia 2 departure. Still don't know why I don't have the rest of that. There, there's more there, but it is being weird. Anyway, insert. Then let's say you have other waypoints that you'd insert here. Uh, let me pull up one here. We actually have an example. Um, Philadelphia, Philadelphia to LAX. That'd be a five and a half hour flight, and let's say, okay, one of the waypoints is IOW. So, India Oscar Whiskey. You place it there, and it always helps to actually have... Okay, so the VOR would be one one, yeah, one one six point zero. So it's that one. Actually, click over here. That's my fault. Then okay, let's say OBH. Uh, Oscar Bravo Hotel. There. And that that's how simple it is. You just press there. So now we go to insert the LAX arrivals. It has us arriving 25, so 25 right via the Angel 4 arrival. And it has, let's see, okay, it has the fault. So you do that, then insert. And what you want to do is once you get to OBH, you'd go direct, which is DIR, and you go here. It'll take you direct to Angel 4 because they've. I don't know why, but normally you can just click this or retype it and then just click it there and it'll all become one. I haven't found out how to do that yet for this. Um, I believe they just have it messed up. There's a few minor mess ups throughout this aircraft, but it is what it is. Anyway, you go to Earth, and what I always do is. I set my V1 to 145, you click there, 150 for VR, one second, okay, had to do something, okay, anyway, 
and then 155 for V2. Then phase, this is all automatic, uh, I believe. And then approach, I always do flap three. You click there. Normally you want to do that once you get closer, but I'm doing it here for explanation's sake. And for your destination, you'd always figure out what's the altimeter. Then you'd put it in there and uh, minimum decision height. Sorry. Uh, I forgot what that actually means. There, anyway. That, that's not important, important. Um, I'm just trying to explain the basics through here. But yeah, that's about all. Uh, since you don't have to actually use ADARs and everything. I hope this looks good. It's showing my frames is horrible. But anyways, look at that beautiful aircraft. Hope this helps you, everyone. Enjoy. Have safe flights.